I started out by ripping 3 quarter inch maple to the size of the various boxes that I was making. Next, I set up a stop block on the miter saw to make the repeated cuts easier. I laid out all the boxes and then attached drilling templates to the wood. I drilled out one inch holes into the wood to hold the dice. I should have added a center point into each of the circles to make this process easier. I decided to try to mark the center of each one roughly, but it didn't quite work out. Once I finished drilling the holes on this piece, I continued the same process for all the other pieces. I used my CNC machine to engrave logos onto the top of the boxes. I wanted one box to have hexagons instead of circles, so I cut that out on the CNC machine. You could do this by hand with a chisel, but it could take a really long time. I sanded all the pieces up to 220 grit sandpaper. I then used walnut stain to darken up these pieces. I made a mistake with one of my templates so this holder wouldn't fit properly. I should have flipped one side of the template in the box. Oh well. I was having trouble staining the circles and hexes so I ended up just dipping my finger in the stain and spreading it around. Staining all the pieces took a really long time. I hit all the boxes with a couple coats of spray lacquer. I wanted to hold these boxes together with magnets, so I just used super glue to hold them in place. Overall, I really like how these boxes came out and the magnets are plenty strong enough so the box won't fall apart. 